see if that works. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys. Hello. We have returned. It's, a, it's another day. We've got two youngins here. Our kids are hunting. And uh, so we waited around, see how they, they leveled out, and they're doing pretty good, these grandkids. So far. So it's quarter to three. So right now, if we start this off. So we'll see what we come up with. This is a this is a another neat study. They're all pretty good, ain't they? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello, dear brothers and sisters chosen by the happy God. We are thankful thankful for the research that Alicia and Judy bring into these studies yeah. from the resources like Unsearchable Riches. Today they brought this from volumes 111 and 112, <clears throat> which had some things we use for our study this morning contributed thank you contributed by a e knock okay go play <laughs> all right <laughs> oh they've been they've been pretty good today ephesians is a general epistle written by paul to those who like himself have been severed from the rest and associated with Christ in glory rather than in his rejection. When the destiny of the twelve apostles and those associated with them have been clearly revealed and culminates or came to a head in the kingdom of Israel on earth, the destiny of, the, of this new departure was unknown. We are now joint partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the evangel of which Paul became the dispenser Ephesians 3 6 and 7 that tells us that Paul is speaking of the evangel which he had preached it is limited by a title of Christ Jesus to that which is recorded in his previous epistles and does not include his ministry in the synagogues in Acts and this evangel to the nations had had been partakers but not joint partakers it was to the jew first the nations had a secondary place the secret now revealed is not that the nations are to be partakers but they are to be joint partakers having together with yeah joint is having yeah have together with ephesians unfold go play baby okay go, go. play you're doing good go play <laughs> Ephesians unfolds this secret. Hence, it is only for those who are in Christ Jesus. Notwithstanding the fact that the church knows nothing of this and follows the twelve apostles and rejects Paul and his teaching, the terrestrial kingdom administration is no longer enforced. Terra means earth. In Ephesians, the body of Christ is a complement to the universe because we complete Christ. Our blessings are among the celestials. All are created in and through and for him. Colossians 1, 16. And we are joint members of the body. Ephesians 3, 6. He is the head of the body. Colossians 1, 18. We, as his complement, that this which is put in to fill, complete the all in all. Ephesians 1, 23. Yeah, compliment is that which, <coughs> that which feels. And Did I say, put, say something else? Oh, you've done good. I was just repeating because it sounds so good. In Ephesians, the secret consists of the joint enjoyment of the allotment among the celestials. The joint membership in the body and joint participation in the promises for those who are called out from among the Jews and the, na and the nations. Uh, Romans 9 23 and 24 says it is that he should also be making known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he makes ready before for glory us whom he calls out calls also not only out of the jews but out of the nations also uh, hey knock with that in our discussion this morning we saw the word belong at, is being used of permanent or actual possession. We are permanently in God's family. We become like those whom we are associated with. We are associated with Christ by staying in his word and focusing on things above. We become like him. Yeah, and that's something. We are joint partakers. We have partner. 
That's what joint partakers is with we have. We partake in him in whom our lot allotment was cast also among the celestials together with Christ. Christ emptied himself. We are chosen to complete him, to fill him, to fill up the deficiencies or the want of Christ. As you read this in Colossians 1, 24, I am now rejoicing in my suffering for you and in filling up in my flesh in his stead the deficiencies of the afflictions of Christ for his body, which is the ecclesia. Our verse today is Ephesians 2, 19. Consequently then, no longer are you guests and sojourners, but are fellow citizens, together many, of the saints and belong to God's family. Yeah. All right, now here's the references we got to that. All right, so Ephesians 2, 11 and 12. Wherefore, remember that once you, the nations in flesh, who are termed uncircumcision by those termed circumcision in flesh, made by hands, that you were, in that era, apart from Christ, being alienated from the citizenship of Israel, and guests of the promised covenants, having no expectation and without God in the world. Ephesians 3, 5 through 6, which in other generations is not made known to the sons of humanity as it was now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets. In spirit, the nations are to be joint enjoyers of the allotment and a joint body and joint partakers of the promise in Jesus in Christ Jesus through the evangel. In Galatians 3, 26 through 28, for you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For whoever are baptized into Christ put on Christ, in whom there is no Jew nor yet Greek, there is no slave nor yet free, and there is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 17, 21. Become imitators together of me, brethren, and be noting that those who, walking thus, according as you have us for a model, for many are walking of whom I often told you, yet now am lamenting also, as I tell you, who are enemies of the cross of Christ, whose consummation is destruction, whose God is their bowels, and whose glory is in their shame, who to the terrestrial are disposed. For our realm is inherent in the heavens, out of which we are awaiting a Savior also, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transfigure the body of our humiliation to conform it to the body of His glory, in accord the operation which enables him even to subject all to himself. <laughs> That's going to be fun. That's going to be quite the day. Ephesians three fourteen through 19. On this behalf, I am bowing my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, after whom every kindred in the heavens and on earth is being named, that he may be given you in accord with the riches of his glory to be made staunch with power through his spirit, in the man within Christ to dwell in your hearts through faith that you having been rooted and grounded in love should be strong to grasp together with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height to know the love of Christ which as well which transcends knowledge that you may be completed for the entire complement of God Galatians 6:10 Consequently, then, as we have occasion, we are working for the good of all, and especially for the family of faith. Yeah. Now, Ephesians 3, 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to do super excessively above all that we are requesting or apprehending, according to the power that is operating in us, to him be glory in the ecclesia and in Christ Jesus for all the generations of the eon of the eons. Amen. Amen. That was uh, references for that verse today. Looking at our verse today that reads, Consequently then, no longer are you guests and sojourners, but are fellow citizens, together many of the saints, and belong to God's family. I think of us as a body going through life here on this terrestrial realm. These things are temporary. We have such a magnificent calling among the celestials as we see in Colossians chapter 1. When we stay focused on our calling, the things here don't seem to weigh on us as much. 
This section of scripture brings comfort to me and others, so I thought to add it to today's study. Yeah. We are thanking, this is Colossians 1, verse 3 through 23. We are thanking the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, always praying concerning you on, be, on hearing of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love which you have for all the saints because of the expectation reserved for you in the heavens which you hear before in the, in the word of truth of the evangel. Which being present with you according as in the entire world also is bearing fruit and growing according as it is among you also from the day on which you hear and realize the grace of God in truth. According as you learned it from Epaphras, our beloved fellow slave who is a faithful dispenser of Christ for us, who makes evident also to us your love in spirit. Therefore, we also, from the day on which we hear, do not cease praying for you and requesting that you may be filled full with the realization of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, and you to walk worthily of the Lord for all pleasing, bearing fruit in every good work, and growing in the realization of God, being endued with all power and accord with the might of His glory, for all, for all endurance and patience with joy. At the same time, giving thanks to the Father who makes you competent for a part of the allotment of the saints in light, who rescues us out of the jurisdiction of darkness and transports us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we are having the deliverance, the pardon of sin, who is the image of the invisible God, firstborn of every creature. For in Him is all created, that in the heavens and that on the earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or lordships or sovereignties or authorities, all is created through Him and for Him, and He is before all, and all has its cohesion in Him. And he is the head of the body, the ecclesia, who is sovereign, firstborn from among the dead, that in all he may be becoming first. For in him the entire complement delight, delights to dwell, and through him to reconcile all to him, making peace through the blood of his cross. Through him, whether those on the earth or those in the heavens. Sur surely since you are... Since you persist. Since you are persist? Oh. Let me mean? see. I messed up right there. Uh, 20. Let me look at that up here. I messed up a piece of this. So we got to look at that and see where I was at. The Colossians 1. We're over 20. 20. So, okay. Surely as you are persisting in the faith. Yeah. Read it from here down. Okay. Surely since you are persisting in the faith, grounded and settled and are not being removed from the expectation of the evangel which you hear which is being heralded in the entire creation which is under the heaven of which I Paul became the dispenser I get over here <coughs> uh, and I am now rejoicing in my suffering for you and filling up in my flesh in his stead, the deficiencies of the afflictions of Christ for his body, which is the plesia, of which I am, I became a dispenser in accord with the administration of God, which is granted to me for you to complete the word of God, the secret which has been concealed from the eons and from the generations, yet now has made manifest to his saints, to whom God wills to make known that what are the glorious riches of this secret among the nations, which is Christ among you, the expectation of glory, whom we are announcing, admonishing every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we should be presenting every man mature in Christ Jesus, for I am telling also struggling in accord with his operation, which is a court operating me with power. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. So, you know, we that was the, the Colossians chapter one. That that's just a neat chapter to read. And when you read it out loud, it just brings more meaning to you. You know, when you read it. So, anyway, there they heard something. It, that was not outside, Goobers. <laughs> anyway, we love you guys. We love you too. Uh,
We're doing better today, a lot better today than it was yesterday. He is. Yeah, got some rest finally. So. But anyway, we love you guys. It's time to see what God's got for us. And uh, sorry this is getting out so late, but it is what it is. And we keep plugging and plugging and keep on going. So. Yeah. Grace and peace and much love to all of you. Love you. And we'll talk to you all next time. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>